Okay, we're gonna make a, a Turkish coffee in what this is called a sezva or an ibik. Uh, and we're gonna take 80 milliliters, it's a third of a cup, and pour it in there. You can go between 80 and 90 milliliters, just a little bit more than a third of a cup. And then, uh, what I like to do is you want to go ahead and have the sugar in there at the beginning. So uh, most people don't need much more than a teaspoon of sugar. We'll go ahead and pour that in there and stir that around. And this water is cold right now. And we're going to start to heat it up on the stove over here. Turn our flame on. There we go. And now, as that heats up, after about a minute or two of heating up, we can, in the meanwhile, we can get our cup ready. We're going to have a small uh, uh, espresso style cup. And next, we'll need the actual coffee. So this coffee is incredibly finely ground. This is specific for Turkish coffee. And you're gonna take a tablespoon, pretty big amount for such a small coffee. And we're gonna take that tablespoon and we're gonna uh, put it on top. So there it is, you can see, it. and we're gonna leave it on top. All right, we're just gonna gently tap that in. And there it is. And it'll slowly sink in. You can uh, you can watch how that kind of just sits there for a while. Now we don't want to stir it yet or anything because it can clump up. You can just let it slowly sink in. As the water warms up, it'll start to sink. And when it's finally all sunk, that's when we can. That's when we can get ready to stir it. We have a small stirring spoon here, which we'll wait. Again, we're just waiting for it to, the water to heat up. And the key to making this really well is to make sure it never boils. Okay, if the water boils, it boils all the foam and froth away. And part of the beauty of these is the froth and the foam uh, when you're eating them. So as it gets warmer, there we can see it's finally disappeared. So we'll give it a little bit of a stir. Any of the remaining sugar will also get dissolved. And Ideally, you'd like to have a smaller flame area than this. This The flame area on the stove, this is the smallest burner I have. Um, and we'll start to, takes about a minute and a half to two and a half minutes. Looks like hot chocolate. Mm-hmm, looks like hot chocolate. And we're gonna wait for it as it starts to foam it'll start to rise upwards towards the top of the container. And now we don't want it to boil and we'll actually listen very closely. It's, I'm not sure if it'll pick it up on the phone, but, or camera, I should say. But what happens is uh, eventually we will start to hear little bubbles. Um, and and when we do, we can turn down the heat some. <laughs> Starting to see a little bit of steam form on the top. There, now you can see a ring of bubbles starting to form on the edges and it's a little bit darker in color. So we wanna remove some heat. We're gonna lift it up off and we'll also turn our heat down a little bit, but we wanna keep it at that temperature. So we're gonna heat it up a little bit again, get it back to that level. We're trying to keep it at that small ring bubble level 
as long as possible without getting it too hot. Because any much hotter than this, uh, all those bubbles will collapse as they evaporate. You can hear the bubbles. And we're gonna, we wanna try to make sure that heat is even around all the sides in there. And you can see how we're starting to get this, these bubbles are starting to form faster and faster. See, there we go. You don't want the big bubbles, that's too hot. There we go. Just a little bit more and we'll have a nice big froth. It'll almost totally envelop that central area right there, like it just did now. And now that's exactly what you want. Now, see, it's nice and foamy and frothy, and it's gonna start to get really tall here in a second. And it's got a very uneven surface because it's all this frothy foaminess. Trying to not let it boil. And then we're gonna pour this into our cup. And the one other thing you have to do is you have to have a glass of water. It's always served with a cold glass of water or room temperature is fine. And then what you do is you will take the water and you will take a sip of that first. And you're going to want to let that sit for about a minute and a half so that the remaining grounds in there uh, go ahead and go to the bottom. So while that's getting ready, you can get your water ready and uh, enjoy. You want to sip this. Uh, it's still, still going to be hot and sipping just a little bit in and shooting it into your mouth and over your tongue will get you the most uh, flavors and uh, have a great time.